Hi everyone, so I wanted to show you this sketchbook I've been working on for a long time and this is only art school sketches for assignments and stuff like that. And it has so many pages in it. I've been working on it since I think 2018 and it isn't done yet, but I've done about 80 pages of sketches in here that I want to show you and I'll update you as it continues to get filled with other project stuff because I feel like it's just so big, like the amount of pages I filled equivalent to a smaller sketchbook. So I want to show you what I've done so far because I've been holding on to this for a long time and I thought I would show you sort of like a part one. Now just so I don't interrupt the tour, I need to say a quick message for the video sponsor which is Skillshare. I'm sure you've heard of them a lot. So Skillshare is an online learning community. There's thousands of inspiring classes in all different kinds of categories like animation, fine art, graphic design, illustration, photography, there's a lot on Skillshare for you to explore. And if you're a bit bored in these times where we have to stay at home and you're looking for something to do, Skillshare might be worth checking out for you. There's one class I want to watch called Calligraphy Essentials from First Script to Final Flourish by Seb Lester because my hand lettering really needs work and honestly I think that would be beneficial for me. Skillshare is made specifically for learning so there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. So there's always something new to check out and it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will get a two month free trial of a premium membership on Skillshare. So you can watch whatever classes you might be interested in. So thank you so much to Skillshare for your continued support. It really helps out me and my channel. And now let's look at the sketchbook. The sketchbook is huge. I'm trying to keep it in frame for you, but I think it just fits. So kind of an explanation of what this sketchbook is, is is um every project we get it's good to do a bunch of loose brainstorming where you don't care about what it looks like at all and it's only to get your ideas out because it's the best way to just kind of like get everything out on paper don't worry about how it looks you select your best ideas from there and then you start to actually figure out the style and the composition and actually draw it properly and not just like a really bad scribble that you could have done when you were two years old this is just random sketches i don't know what this means here Software drawing pen screen accessories. I have no idea why I drew that. Bunch of sketches I did just to, just for fun. I, I remember I kind of liked that one. I still kind of do. Um, I don't know what these are. I think I was practicing from photos. Um, these are like almost two years old now. Just keep that in mind. Or one year old. Two years old. Yeah, these are almost two years old. I can't believe that. It's like a year and a half old. <laughs> I don't know what- see, see, this is what I mean by drawings you could have done when you were two years old, like... I don't know what these are, but sometimes this is- this is how I would get my ideas out. I do it a little bit more refined now, because I just like to draw things that look a little better. Um, this is a mind map of just trying to think of metaphor. I honestly could have went further with this and pushed more ideas and- Because, like, nowadays I feel like I could come up with more ideas. Um, but I just like drew like blob people just to like get the gist of what metaphor I wanted to do. Uh, here's some more. I crossed out the ones that weren't really working and I kind of kept the ones that I liked. It's just like super messy. This is also, um, second year of school so I wasn't like very confident with things. I feel like I'm more confident now. And then I kind of stumbled on the idea of a dog doing things for itself to kind of mean like responsibility and taking taking responsibility for your actions and this is the the first sketch of the one where the dog is picking up its own poop which i it's actually one of my favorite drawings that i've done i want to do more things in that style i don't really know what this is like they're building the track as they go it's just like convoluted the nail holding a hammer like that doesn't make any sense like there's gonna be a lot of ideas where you like this is, I would never post something like this on Instagram. It's just all over the place and just not very good. But it helped me come up with ideas and I started to kind of run with the whole pet thing and animals doing things for themselves like, like bees planting flowers. It doesn't really make sense. You don't really get there right away. Beavers planting trees, like it doesn't really, I don't know, it's not really there. Um, and a polar bear putting ice in a lake I mean, the whole polar bear ice thing is done, is overdone, honestly, so I didn't go with that one. Just like a lot of failed attempts. I don't really bother like erasing stuff or fixing stuff because that's not the point. The point is to get your bad ideas out. Like, look at these sketches. 
He didn't really fill the space. You could tell he wasn't really that confident with things. Um, I think this is a different project. No, it's the same one. I had to do two different, um, what's it called? Two different things for the same metaphor, which was like self-responsibility or something. Self-responsibility? What does that mean? <laughs> um, and then I came up with a squirrel, like, running on an invisible wire. It didn't really translate well, but yeah, it wasn't my favorite thing, but I liked the way the dog one turned out. Dog pouring its own food, a cat chopping a fish, like, this wouldn't really work for that. Someone rock climbing without a harness, like, you wouldn't notice that right away, just things that don't make sense. Someone supporting themselves, it, just a lot of, a lot of ideas to come to this one, which I ended up doing for the final. Someone sitting, but there's no bench, like, you see that sort of, there's like a metaphorical, conceptual kind of drawing. And then I started to do a bunch of different dog styles because I was like, I want to figure out how I want to draw this dog. There's lots of different ways you can draw anything. So I'm like, let's do some some dog styles. Um, and then I really liked this one a lot. He's just so wrinkly. And this one is like not really the vibe I was going for. That one is a little too cartoony. Looks like it should be in an animation. This one too, I think I liked. Um, I kind of like that one, but he was a little bit scary with his huge giant legs. I just kept going with the dog sketches and just like trying to figure out what I wanted it to look like. A really, really long wiener dog. Just unnecessarily weird posture. Like you can see how unconfident my lines are here. I kind of like that one. I still liked this sort of like nose coming to a point and kind of like an upturned nose, but he's like still sort of looking down, but not really. I don't know what that is. That looks really scary. Oh, and then I started to kind of play around with media because I wanted the grass to sort of just like encompass him. Like I wanted it to be a pretty decorative piece with metaphor because I wanted to like, I really like things to be scenes, which kind of tells me that I like narrative stuff, but conceptual narrative, I guess, like not narrative, but I like things to have a context and not just kind of be floating or just like a sterile environment. I don't know how to how to explain it, if it's like a narrative thing or not. But I really like the way the grass turned out here. Um, and I like the media here with like all the overlapping grass. Um, more sketches. Man, I really worked hard on this drawing. Like there's so many different thumbnails. I don't think I've ever shown these, but I'm really proud of the work I did on this project. Cause like, you can see the drawings got a lot better from the initial brainstorming, which was like garbage doodles, but they helped me come up with this. It was like two years ago or a year and a half. It doesn't feel like that long ago. And the final drawing, you can see it on my Instagram. Um, this one wasn't as, like I didn't work on it as much, so that's probably why I didn't really read well. And I struggled with drawing the clouds and I just like overdid it. Um, I don't think I posted this one, but I really like the thumbnails way more than the final. I really like the pencil work I did here. I love looking at um, sketches like this where I actually put like effort into the sketches, which is why I don't, I'm not a fan of the first little part of this, but that was necessary to come up with ideas. More thumbnails? I thought I was, thought I did enough. Maybe I did those after, or like, I don't know. <laughs> There's even more. Oh yeah, I like this media so much, like, I love this kind of art style that I've never been able to do because I'm too afraid, but, like, not looking like this, but just, like, the confidence of lines. More sketches. Oh, I love the style of that dog. That one's weird, has a really long neck. Like, it might be unnecessary to do that much planning. Oh, the red is my teacher. Um, it might be unnecessary to do or professor Th this much planning but it was all a learning process so it was necessary spring a mini mind map that didn't really go anywhere i guess early spring oh yeah this was a failed project because the end result made no sense at all it's like one of my least favorite things i've ever done because it makes no sense and i could have done so much more with it but i just couldn't think of anything we had like a three day turnaround time and i didn't know what to do i had like a son that was dressed like winter is just like 
I don't I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand what I was trying to do. Um, I think these are all just like random doodles warming up, just drawing stuff. I really like this black uh, pencil. I need to get that out again. I forgot. A little bowl or something, some birds, just some people and birds, which is what I usually draw. Oh, this was, these are for videos. You might have actually seen this. Did I film that? I don't know. It was like the ladybug forest. This was for a second year as well. I actually like the way this one turned out, except for it had to be collage and I just, oh, I don't like doing collage at all. At all. Oh, and then th this was this year. So I took like so long between this and this. Like I think this was the summer. And then this is when we got back into school and I put a lot more effort into like everything. So this is a big mind map that I had a lot of fun with, honestly. It's that um, tornado, that girl in the, in the tornado of like little monster things. That's what this turned into. Did I do two or was it just one? I cannot remember. I think it was just one. I wanted to do a series, but I was like, I should not, shouldn't put that much work on my plate and with like the first project of the semester. Um, more thumbnails. I love doing ink and ink wash with thumbnails and pencil. It's just so much, well, it's just so much fun to look back at. It's like more inspiring than just like, I don't know. You just need to find a way to work that makes you want to do more. But I love doing little thumbnails like this. They're a lot of fun. It can be exhausting, honestly, but it's worth it in the end because it's good to explore so many, as many different compositions as possible. Um, as much as you have time for because you'll just get a better result if you just go with your first instinct It won't it won't really turn out as good as it could be. It doesn't have as much potential I guess there's always like little jaunt notes Like I think my process work is a lot more interesting to look at now um, I'm kind of glad this was based on this short story which is a pretty good story, it's pretty interesting. A bunch of plants take over, um, but they're not really like that harmful. They, you just, they just kind of like live amongst the humans and they kind of like take over all the native species of plants, but it's not like apocalyptic, I guess. I don't know. But it, it, was, it was fun. I'm not like super happy with the way my final turned out. I like the spots that I did. I'm also glad that I did these sketches with um, ink pens so they won't smudge between the pages because I started off with like, let's just do the comparison. These <laughs> and these. I definitely put more effort into these because it's just more fun to do that. I really didn't need to. Um, they could have been a lot worse just for the sake of coming up with more ideas, but I don't know. Our class was a, a little bit different. like. The process work I felt like was a, a little bit different, so that's why, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. Oh, this was the last project that, um, oh yeah, this was when we started to do school online, so I had to, I numbered everything and I tried to like make it nice and organized because it was online. I did sort of like color media stuff for the thumbnails. I tried to make the ideas very clear so my professor could tell what was happening because it was online and I can't really explain in person. I feel like it's good to do that anyway. You want your clients to be able to tell what's going on because otherwise, what's the point? This is for a different class, just word brainstorming. Um, yeah, this is like not important. <laughs> More thumbnails for that. I kind of had... No, I didn't have fun with this. Did I? Not really. I just remember like... Just sitting down, doing it, and getting it over with. Oh, what is this? This is for a motion project I had to do, which didn't really end up turning out that well. I'm just not good at it. I, I don't spend enough time on it. I just... I don't know. I can't really do long things. I want to focus more on, like, shorter GIFs, I guess. But this was a storyboard for that. I think I posted, like, a more clear storyboard on my Patreon because I went over this um, digitally and just made it, like, easier to understand. Um, but yeah, more, uh, planning for that, the different shots I wanted to do. I had big plans for this, but the whole online class stuff kind of made it hard to do because we couldn't go into the studios. This was for, this was planning for something, that other class, 
It was the final painting, which I don't really like the way it turned out. Oh, I think that's it, actually. Yeah, some fruit birds. This was going to be a Patreon sketch. But I have a lot more pages left in this sketchbook, so much more. So the next time I fill a big chunk of it, I want to do an updated tour of how my process work is going, I guess. Like, it's kind of interesting just to see sketches that are specifically for things and not just, like, for fun. I don't know. It's sort of like a different vibe, I guess you could say. But I really hope you enjoyed this video and maybe learned a tip or so about sketching or planning for projects because I think it's important to know that you don't always have to go with your first idea. You can do tons of sketches to work out what you want something to look like and your initial brainstorming can be chicken scratch. It doesn't have to be nice. So I really hope you enjoyed this. Check out my Patreon if you want to see more sketches like this. Um, I post like tons of stuff that I would never really put on Instagram over on my Patreon. I also send out monthly prints and stickers and journal pages that are like collectible things but I explain it on Patreon if you want to see. And there's a Discord server as well um, for anyone who becomes a uh, patron. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you are doing okay in these times and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.